My name is Phil Hasse, creator of Dynamite Jack, and I want to show you how to build a map today. When you first open up the map builder, your level is made completely out of rock. So I'm going to go over to the tile picker and select a type of flooring to carve out of the rock. I think I'll use that rough rock style. So you draw in the edge of your cave, like so, and then you can use the fill tool to fill it in. One thing you can do when you're editing levels is you can zoom in and out, although I find that the mouse wheel is a lot easier to use than those little buttons. You can also use this move scroll thing to navigate around the level, although I prefer to stay in the draw mode and just use my middle mouse button to click and drag to navigate around the screen. Anyway, once I've carved out a level, I like to add in the player, and I like to add in an exit, so I've got sort of the start and the finish of the level put together. I give my player a flashlight and a detonator. And at this point, I think I want to add a little bit of challenge, so I'm going to add a guard to the level. Put the guard down. Important thing with the guards is setting up their walking path. That's what these four arrows are for, so I'll have him go down first, and then I'll have him take a turn over to the left. If you have a numerical keypad on your keyboard, you can use the arrows there instead of the tile picker, which actually goes quite a bit quicker. And I think I'm going to throw a little bit of red technology in here so you have something to blow up while you're marching through this level. I also want to put a uh, solid box around the exit so you've kind of got to you've got to actually blow up the red technology to get through to that. I'm actually add the little tech lock on the top here. Um, one thing I did kind of make a total mess of that, so just right click on stuff actually selects the tile underneath your mouse so you don't always have to go back to the tile picker. So I'm actually going to select the cave floor with my mouse button and clean that up a little bit. I'm going to select this wall, clean that up, and then I'm going to select the rock and clean that up. And I've actually got a pretty much finished level here. I just want to add in a little bit of purple ambiance around the level so it looks a little bit more interesting. It always kind of gives the cave a nice glowy feel around the edges. Then, now that I'm ready, I think I'll play test my level. Alright, pick up the stuff here. And march over to the middle of the level, drop the solid bomb down, blow it up, and run to the exit. And that is my completed level. Now once you've created your level, if you're really proud of it, just go back to your level menu and click on the share button and you can actually share it with the entire internet community. So I hope you have a lot of fun creating and sharing levels.